Hello and welcome back to the Beyond Typers multiplayer campaign with a Rumba, Stijo, and Zip Squirrel. Say hello, guys. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Yeah. Apologies if you can hear my son in the background. He's having Why one of those nights. Special guest appearance. Why are you apologizing? It's cute. Well, I mean, if, if people think it's cute, then uh, you're welcome. I like <laughs> kids. I have some of those. I am ambivalent. I have mm -hmm. one. It's enough. No, I, I should probably clarify before I get some fucking shitty comments. Uh, I, I like my kid. I don't want to have more. One is plenty. Well, if you had two of them, that would be kind of weird. Cloning is not necessarily illegal, you know. Is it not? I thought there was some like convention shit about that recently. Like oh, China. right, yeah. No, I said it wrong. Something. It's not exactly legal, that's what I meant to say. Oh, right, yeah, Sorry. that would make more sense. I'm, I'm playing this this, uh, this really fun game where you, you, you take an 80 stack and you find, like, the four troops in it that don't have perfect drill and you pull them off and you go drill them. The sneaky little bastards that don't want to get trained. <clears throat> so, I'm very distracted. I'm mostly drilling right now for professionalism because I tanked it trying to fight you. How far down did you go? I was in the 20s. Oh, wow. I... I lost 600,000 men total. You lost 2 million. And still, yeah. it wasn't even close. Yeah, well, I have 465,000 right now. My slack and standard click is 170. So, with 90% professionalism, roughly, I can slack in for 3.06 million. You can There's a lot of Germans. You slacken for three million. No, I could slacken all of my professionalism for oh, three million. Oh, okay. I, well, I am. I'm not going to do the maths on camera. Why not? It's easy. Well, because I suck at maths, and I would just embarrass myself. So why? So that we could compare numbers. Well, uh, to slacken once is ninety-five thousand. Are you just saying the number and now you're hoping I'll do the math? Yes. <laughs> That's precisely <laughs> what I did. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. See? Yeah, no. no I don't, yeah, you don't want to do it? I don't want to do it? Let's just leave it. Can I, can I bring... How long does this fucking trade thing last for? Like, when can I bring my dudes back? Oh, no. Regency. I was about to declare another war. Damn it. Now what do I do? I still annex. Wow, my biggest expense is these subsidies to Tier Nigel. I should end those. <laughs> Wait, we have an agreement. I forgot. Damn. What's crazy is I, I actually have really awful modifiers to manpower and to manpower recovery. <clears throat> I only have 10% increased max manpower. Like, if I just got a couple extra multipliers for it, it would be pretty significant. What kind of multipliers have I got, I wonder? I know I've got um, a policy on for it. A national manpower modifier of 103%. It's not bad, I guess. What did you say yours was? Just ten percent. Jesus fucking Christ! Everything <clears throat> about your country is like, damn. Damn what? Damn fucking! How am I gonna deal with this? <laughs> if at all. Well, you saw it all building up over time. Like, should have seen it coming. True. I, didn't <laughs> See, I, this I heard much. that little that little last <laughs> joke. You can't hide it. Oh. Uh, I mostly just read your comments rather than watching the videos. Same. Rude. How the hell... Ragusa... Lambert, can you kill Ragusa for me? Why? Because he's taking Kyria controller from me. Go on, Ragusa. Yeah, big legend. <laughs> Damn it. 
And I declare war on Ragusa. He's my yeah. march. <clears throat> Are you really? Yeah. Rude! It's not. He's been my march for hundreds of years. He's a, he's a rude dude. I love that little dude. He's awesome. <laughs> Taking cure and controller away from people who don't deserve it. My wow. vassals are actually getting kind of uppity because of relative power of all marches compared to Germany, which is kind of laughable. <laughs> I would very much enjoy like just seeing all of your vassals just declare all at once. Ooh, Hadramut has fallen. So what's my new ruler? He's a 313 and he's secretive. Ooh, I like that. Have you all settled in on your next set of ideas? Or the next idea group? Or uh, he already, already started it. I'm actually falling behind a little bit by not having taken it early here. But I'm at what, pretty much 100 24? innovativeness. Yeah, I have 100 innovativeness, so there's no point in worrying about taking I'm it early I'm at 43 anymore. and a half. I don't think I'm getting that much higher than that. I took fleet basing ideas just so I can have extra sailors. I'm still... Oh, no, no. I, I finally got to the point where I'm not losing more sailors than I'm making. Good. I'm fairly sure I'm going to go with standing army. Because I'm pretty sure I need a lot more trade ships. And some heavies, why not? Qualities actually had its infantry combat ability nerfed to 7.5%. Yeah, there's really no reason. Um, quality versus weapon quality. There's tons of advantages to weapon quality, and everything you want out of quality, you get from weapon quality. Oh, so, don't go quality. It's bad. I don't understand why, but... Militarism might be nice for the shit-tons of extra manpower. But no, I think standing army would be probably the best option. Oh, I like conscription. Oh, I, I see that my subjects have put us to 100% war score. That's great. I really like conscription for stacking it on top of uh, quantity. Not a bad option. What's Mexico doing? Oh, they're almost completely siege down. I wonder if I can... I do have an army sack in Mexico. I wonder if I can do something about this. What? No, my auto clicker isn't working anymore. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> You do have to be kind of careful with those, you know. If you never forget to turn it off or something, then you tab out. Oh yeah, you oh, can yeah. get into issues. <laughs> I have a a program called <clears throat> Fences that like hides my desktop when you double click like on the fences. screen. And I one time I, I tabbed out and I was really confused because like suddenly my computer started to just freak out and like practically turn off. Okay. And it's because I had the auto clicker double clicking on the background and Fences was trying to hide and show the desktop, like every half second, it queued and it went for about a half hour. It was bad. Yeah, I just had, I, I just couldn't turn it off for a second there, but now I fixed it. It's all good again. So literally, what you just said might happen, happened. I think you jinxed it. Mhm. Mm jinx. I have just killed two fairly large world powers. Um, you know, never, never. Never mind the history books. Germany just killed Poland. We've removed them from the map. <laughs> Don't worry, though. No cultural enrichment. We just accept all cultures. Humanist is great. All right. uh, who else do I want to integrate? Not you yet. Oh, this isn't even going to be a fair fight. What's your tech level? <laughs> Highest tech level is 17 military. Oh, what? This, isn't, this isn't gonna be fair at all. You're attacking Songhai while your vassal dude gets absolutely ruined. He'll be fine! Well, he's clearly not fine. He's being ruined, as I just he's, said. He's just feeling a little green in the province. You're a bad overlord. <laughs> this this must have been this must have must have been what um, 
America Listen, felt like. I this is said, why they rebelled. Since the beginning of the campaign, that the New World was not going to be my bag. I happen to own Mexico. I could give a toss. I'm going to borrow your British uh, people saying. So I'm going. I could. We give would a toss. never say could give a toss. Could give a toss. No, we couldn't could give a toss. Give a... Perhaps we could swing that, but That's we like could give a toss. Less. I could. No. I could not care less. Okay, that that's more British. You should you should do more of that. Wait, I just had something from Germany and I just clicked it off. What is this? German standardization. Established a college in Berlin. The crowns of Prussia shall forever be glorious. That is you super developed Berlin. How super developed is Berlin? Again four tax, two production, two manpower. And they become eh. an inland center of trade. Berlin's only got 65 dev, it's not that much. That's, that's more dev than my capital. Still, not as much as uh, Buryata. Yeah. So I tried the, uh, the click, by the way. People were commenting a while back about why I am not using the improved development button. Mm-hmm. It's uh, 48,296 ducats. I think that's right. I can wow. click it once every 10 years, and it gives me a massive 30 development. <laughs> which is wow. uh, not enough. <laughs> not no, enough to justify not the, the click. You have to pay. Thought maybe it was actually going to, like, I tested it to see if maybe I just have been missing out on it. But it doesn't give me, like, three development in every province or something. For 50,000 ducats, you would expect a lot more than just 30 development. Oh, yeah, I keep losing legitimacy when my ruler dies. It's actually kind of uh, annoying. I wonder if that's related to the fact that it's a different dynasty. Where is Mentawi? Oh, yeah, no, I don't need that. I'm still really sad about my dynasty dying out. Dun, 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 dun. No. So, Sijo, I saw that your your Ew. colonial nation, Tirnagel A, was <laughs> at war with Mexico. Why were they at war with Mexico? Oh, because everyone's at war with Mexico now. <laughs> Have you been, like, having them take fleet basing ideas and forcing all your colonial nations to attack all of these colonial nations? I. me have? I mean, force them to take an idea. Wait a minute. Well, if they have it, I mean. Like, normally you can, if you go to the subject interaction for colonial nations, there's a thing at the very, very bottom called start war and colony. Normally you can't uh -huh. use that because they have to have a claim on an adjacent country or something. Right. But one thing I noticed when colonizing is that if you have fleet basing ideas, that CB can be used to force them to attack just about anybody. Mm -hmm. So did you force your country to attack his country so that you could steal all of his money? Because if so, that's funny and awesome, and I think you should do it more. That's pretty much 100% what happened with Mexico. Awesome. Because I saw, when they pieced out, they took nothing but money and war reps. Which is usually an indicator that they don't actually want land. So I was wondering why they were at war. And that's the only logical conclusion I could come to. Well, Mexico was forced to go to war with one of my colonial nations. The thing is, he, he picked Massachusetts, and Massachusetts would probably be able to kick the shit out of Mexico anyway. But I Think just so? wanted to... Yeah. I mean, Massachusetts was the one that stack wiped them in the first place to allow everyone else to kind of... Oh, is that who has that 24 stack? Yeah, I think they, they pieced out ages ago, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's only Acadia, Gaelic, Canada, and Gaelic, Louisiana that's left. Well, I only had Mexico declare war on Massachusetts because there was no other valid war target, and I wanted someone to take revenge on Gaelic Columbia, or like, oh my god. That, that, that hurts. <laughs> that is a, that is a big rip for Mexico right there. Holy shit. Woo, that makes me feel awkward. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> you just saw it? Wow. I did not expect that in the slightest. Yeah. 
I was not expecting them to be able to take that much territory. Mexico must be really fucked up. Especially since uh, one of the provinces is inland. Oh well. I'm just trying to give provinces to my vassal right now. And I will look in a second, people who subscribe to me. I'm busy though. Overextension sucks. Oh my god, I actually have an opportunity to uh, defeat the last nation in North Africa that isn't a vassal of mine. I'm at war with... What the hell? What just happened? What did you do, Steed Show? Oh, nothing. God damn it. Good thing I unmothballed my uh, fleet. I, for one, like this new bold and confident Sejo. Oh, you <laughs> split him in half. Ouch. I didn't split him in half. Game it was Mexico's. Mexico's. Yeah, it was the colonial nations that did it. He has no responsibility in this whatsoever. No, I'm I'm at war with Sejo now. I don't know how it happened, but there it is. There you are. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know how, but I didn't want to be, but... Fuck it. If I have to fight you, then I guess I'll just fight you. I mean, you can separate peace out if you like. Could. Well, yeah, because uh, because it's not a war against the... you. You're not the uh, you're not the war leader. Yeah, but I have a feeling that if I stay in the war for any reason, you're just gonna hurt me in some way. It's quite possible. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll give him one more province, because uh, pretty borders mean a lot. Did you just wipe peace out of that? <laughs> I fucking did. <laughs> I do not you give just abandoned your colony. For yes. my colonial nations, I don't. I have abandoned the new world. Th thanks for all the money, but I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm Can okay. I Who are the Ottomans at war with? No one, you just want some access anyway. Off of my... I think I'm doing quite well in uh, off India. Off of your what? Uh, off of my subject nations, my colonial nations. Not colonial nations, no. Uh, if you want to clean up the borders, you got to release them, and then attack them, war with them. And full annex them, and then you'll create a new colonial nation. I'll just, like, make Gaelic Mexico attack Gaelic Louisiana for the <laughs> those cores. Can you actually make your... I doubt it, but I wish I could. <laughs> Did you just they they do, one? like, dislike each other, but I don't think... Oh, no, I can. I can... Oh, no, as a colony, we may only fight colonies under a different overlord. Oh, okay. senseless restrictions. Come on, paradox. I know. I want Mexico to punch Gaelic Louisiana for that land, or at least be able oh, to yeah. purchase it. It's the worst thing when they colonize outside of the... Colonial region that they're supposed to be in. I hate it when they do it. Yep. Yeah. I, do too. I usually just use the console to put it where it's supposed to be. Ah, so you're a cheater. No wonder you built all those forts. <laughs> cheater. How how does building forts make me a cheater? I don't know. Fair just enough. Just stringing random thoughts together and building buildings. Hey, Steeter, did you build that Panama Canal yet? Uh, I still can't. It's I still got the money. We'll take the tech. Just do it. It's uh, just, 26. Just take it. I. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Why haven't you just done it? Because it's like fucking 40 years ahead of time. See? Well, that's not a very good reason. Hmm. I didn't do the maths on whether um, purchasing specific dudes are better yet. But I'm probably still gonna do it. 
on whether purchasing specific dudes is better. Yeah, you know, the, the advisor thing. Oh, I was complaining yes, about, was. yeah, he had to rehire all of his advisors. How come I always get particular this when I'm trying to build shit? Uh, they don't like because infrastructure you... projects. You did court and country, that's why. So you always have to fight rebels for like the next 30 years. I know. Was it worth it? Uh... <laughs> Take that as a no. I guess I it's about that so. time then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is indeed. All right. Who brought us in? Was it me? Uh, that would be myself, I think. Uh, so, yes, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Later. See you soon.